Uh, there's things that we obviously have to be better at. First half defense, um, making free throws, um, making a lot of free throws in practice. Um, obviously, it's. I feel like last year obviously was a lot better, but um, we just have to keep uh, working on it. And um, at the end of the day, we're professionals. Um, we've all shot good from the free throw line before, so I'm um, just getting over that hump, and I think we'll be fine. Keegan, Mike's always said like he likes to see adversity within this team to kind of see what can happen afterwards. You guys went through adversity last year. You've gone through adversity earlier this season. What do you kind of hope to, to learn from these past four games and trying to end the homestand on a high note? Uh, uh, I mean, obviously adversity uh, last year, the first four games. Um, this is a new team, and uh, I feel like this year we've had a lot more adversity with injuries and losses and things like that. So um, just sticking with it day by day, um, not giving up on each other, sticking with it uh, with each other, staying as a team, um, as a family, um, and we'll get through it. Keegan, in some of those moments where your guys' defense could have been better, um, what were you seeing, like perimeter containment or rotations, or what were you kind of seeing there? Uh, I mean, yeah, I feel like TJ hurt us a lot, uh, and especially in the first quarter, I think, um, with his, his Nash drives and things like that. Um, and uh, We try to try to stop that, and um, he hurt us a lot. So uh, there's just a lot of different things. Uh, they're obviously the number one offensive team for a reason, um, and we just have to be better defensively against them next time. Uh, just want to you know, get your thoughts on um, see um, Miles Turner and Benedict Matherin. And what they were doing, Ed, as well as um, the kid who came off the bench, Jairus uh, Walker. Yeah, I mean, Walker came in and hit a lot of big shots, um, a lot of tough shots. Um, so uh, kudos to them. And uh, obviously, Ben's a really good player um, in the same draft class as me. And uh, he's a tough guy. And uh, Miles is obviously big, spaced the floor really well for them. Um, so they have a lot of different dimensions on their team. Um, that hurt us tonight um, starting in their starting lineup and off the bench. Keegan, when you look at um, the way you guys played down the stretch, um, making it kind of interesting there, is there any positive you can carry from that? Uh, like, I know Mike has made a big deal about when guys come in and maximizing their opportunities. I'm just wondering if you feel like that's a moment that might be able to build off of. Yeah, I mean, we know we shouldn't have been in that position in the first place, um, but just to see our effort um, continue, um, when, even when we're down late in the fourth, um, it's encouraging. Um, but that's not the type of game that we want to be in all the time. So uh, just take it as it is, and I uh, just learned from it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first off, just, I mean, obviously it was a career high for you. How nice was it to kind of get going a little bit for you? Yeah, it felt good. Would have uh, obviously felt better to win. For sure. And then how do you, you guys obviously turned it on there in, in, in that closing moments there. Um, did it feel like you guys had to, have that moment happen before the like maybe a, a switch was kind of flipped for you? I don't know. I mean, those are you don't ever want to be in that situation. You know, that's just random basketball. I don't, I don't know the numbers for as many teams that can be in a scramble and come back and win. And uh, yeah, we obviously we force turnovers, but you, know, you you can't rely on that ever to really win a game. So hopefully, keep ourselves out of those situations. Kevin, just defensively, what are you guys seeing that's causing like the blowups like this, where you guys are getting the big uh, the big deficits? I think, you know, to be honest, in this one, uh, yeah, I, I give them a lot of credit. You know, they offensively they play a great brand of basketball right now, and they uh, the pace that they play with in the half court. TJ McConnell killed us all night. You know, it felt like we couldn't keep him in front of us, and they're missing you know an all star and potentially another all star that they just got, but. Yeah, they play a really good brand of basketball. They it's random. They move. They play with pace. They have, you know, their their rookie came in and, and killed us off the bench. Hit a couple threes and just different guys feel like they they played really well tonight. And uh, I think for us, it's just up in the physicality, uh, you know, just being better that on the floor. The communication wise, we're off a little bit, but again, they they have a lot of moving parts in their offense. And yeah, they're they're one of the top offenses in the league for a reason. Kev, when it comes to free throws, you guys practice it every single day. Even today, you guys were practicing even more. Is it a mental thing? Do you guys have to just take more shots? Just how do you get out of that funk? Uh, it's a good question. I, uh, for me, with anything, I think it's always you go back to the work. You're in the gym. You got to build your confidence by by trusting you know the work that you put in. So it's uh, we shot ourselves in the foot. You know, this is the third game in a row. This has happened against you know three good teams. Feels like it's all self-inflicted. That's why I think it's it's frustrating for us. And 
uh, it's no secret, like free throw line, we can't miss 14 free throws at home and expect a team uh, that's this good, even with the players they've out. And, yeah, that's, that's stuff that we can control.